And welcome back, everyone. Welcome back to Let's Play Fallout New Vegas. I'm, of course, Chaos Rush, and we are fat currently. Uh, we need to uh, either repair or drop some stuff. Luckily, we have plenty of stuff to repair. All right. Those are all fixed up. We got some single shotguns to fix up here. Kind of. Uh, anything else? We can top that off. Um, that's, that looks good to me. Gonna make quite a bit of money, though. This stuff. So, uh, we are looking, like I said in the last episode, we are looking for a town called Novak. Hopefully we can find it pretty soon. Why the game just uh, lags here and there. Hey, there's a traitor over here. Nice. So if I run into any trouble, they will fight stuff for me too. Traveling merchant, I need to talk to you. Hey there. Need anything? Uh, let's see your wares. Sure. Here's what I got. Right, let's sell some stuff. We need to. I want to sell. Um. Okay. I want to sell. Might as well sell these. I'm never going to use them. That could. Well, that could be pretty handy. Um. Sell that. Not gonna use that. Salesman Weekly. We could use. We're not gonna use any of that. I don't. Th eh, we'll keep it. Why not? Um. So um, one of our 10 millimeter pistols. We can sell the BB gun. As we'll sell these. Well. So one of them at least. Uh, grenade rifle. How much? Uh, six. You can have it. Uh, and that will be it. Any ammo I can get off you. Take some magnum rounds. Twenty gorge. Let's go with me. Thank you. Now, what town is that over there? Let's see, where are we at? We need to head... There it is, Novak. So we gotta go this way. Hopefully I don't get sidetracked, because knowing me, I get sidetracked a lot. Just like how I want to go explore that town over there. More people over here or something? Or is it... Nah, it's just a crow. How you doing, crow? Hope you're having a good day. Or bird, whatever. So, uh, we're just continuing on. We gotta make it to Novak. Because, why not? Looks like a little dome over there. Interesting. I should probably cut out these walking parts because it can get quite boring to watch. Especially when I have nothing to talk about. But, uh... It just feels, it really feels good to be back and playing. Like I said. Oh, God. Well, aren't you pretty? Damn, that thing went, and got some air. Thank God I heard this behind me. Fucking heard something walking up on me. That, I'm not gonna lie, that legit scared the fucking shit out of me. Okay, that's nothing. I thought that was like a fucking giant spider or something. Okay, I don't know why... Oh, God. That is steep. I don't know why I took this up around. I could've just, uh... 
Oh god, this could be bad. Just uh, gently tease it here, we'll hop down like a bunny. We're good to go. Nice. Alright, what is this place? I'm looking around so nothing comes up and attacks me and scares the fucking pooper dinkle out of me. This is the rancher, the ranger station, Charlie. All right, or NCR outposts, or that's a mini one. This is a ranger station. But we got to continue heading this way north. Cause hey, we got to make it to Novak. You can tell that's Novak because of the giant dinosaur. Wait, a giant dinosaur? Holy shit. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Black Mountain radio signal found. Okay. So apparently we're in range of a uh, Black Mountain radio signal. I have to listen to that and figure out what the hell is going on there. God, you know game, even though graphics-wise is not particularly really appealing, considering all the lack of, you know, the color, it is quite beautiful. I just dropped my fucking mouse. One moment. I have to bend over and pick it up. There we go. Right. Nothing in the mailbox. And we made it to Novak. Nice. A little peaceful little town. So we can get some medical supplies. Is there anything to nick in here? Medical wise? Nope. Okay. I do like this town because there's something very, very important that we can get from here, and I'll show you what we can get. A very, very special gun. Okay, got some scrap metal here and other things. Got some more stuff out here. Nothing too valuable. Is that Victor? Is that you, Victor? Yeah, it is. Well, butter my butt and call me a biscuit if it ain't <laughs> my old friend from Good Springs. Butter my butt and call me a biscuit. Will do. What are you doing in Novak? It's nice to see a friendly face out here. Likewise, friend, likewise. Is there anything old Vic can do you for? Hmm. Um, I could use some bed and some supplies. Well, this ain't New Vegas, but I reckon you can find what you need here. Try the office out front. I will do that. You said the men jumped me were heading this way, right? No, don't believe I did. But you might ask around. The Novak folk usually see anyone traveling this way. Got it. Well, good to see you, Victor. Be seeing you. All right, man. All right, so we made it to Novak. Before anything, I want to come over here. And go into here. The Dino Bite gift shop, I believe it was. Bite? I think it was Bite. How you doing? Hey, how you doing? Actually, I'll be more, uh, you know. Man, that means I gotta wait a long time. Let's give it a second, folks. I want him not to be here. So we gotta wait till nighttime. Um, wait some more, I guess. So three more hours should do. Yep, he's gone. Good. Alright, now we want to lockpick this door. Whoa! Rocket. We'll take some rocket souvenirs. Because why not? But most importantly, why we're here. I can find it. Close the door. 
Ah. We came here for that gun. Now, this gun right here, or should I say that gun, is one of my most favorite guns in the game. It uses 5.56. Five, you can change the ammo for it. And, you know, it's just basically one hell of a gun. Just look at it. It's a pistol that uses 5.56, five, and it can use 5.56 five, five, armor piercing, which is really handy. We'll take some stuff here. All right. So now we that we have that gun. That's what I really came here for. Anything uh, in here? Free more money. Eh. Got some bobby pins though. Yoink. Stay away from that. It's all radiated to all the hell. There's a guy that walked up here. Let's uh, talk to him. Say hello to Boone. God damn it. Don't sneak up on me like that. What do you want? Expecting visitors? Yeah, I guess maybe I am. But not like you. Huh. Maybe it should have been you I was expecting all along. Why are you here? Hmm. Just came... Uh... No reason, really. I think you better leave. Just making friendly conversation. I don't have friends here. Well, God, aren't you the fucking, you know, talkative type? Well, I'm not from here. No. No, you're not, are you? Maybe you shouldn't go. Not just yet. Why is that? I need someone I can trust. You're a stranger. That's a start. What do you want me to do? I want you to find something out for me. I don't know if there's anything to find, but I need someone to try. My wife was taken from our home by Legion slavers one night while I was on watch. They knew when to come and what route to take, and they only took Carla. Someone set it up. I don't know who. So you're trying to track down your wife? My wife's dead. I want the son of a bitch who sold her. Ah. Uh, what do I do if I find this person? Bring him out in front of the nest here while I'm on duty. I work nights. I'll give you my NCR beret to put on. It'll be our signal so I know you're standing with him. And I'll take care of the rest. I need to do this myself. Alright. I'll see what I can do to help you out, Boone. Good. I'll make it worth oh your while. Oh my god, you're bald! And one more thing. We shouldn't speak again. Not until it's over. No one in town knows that I know what happened to my wife. Best they never know. Or well, the Legion will be after me next. How do you know that your wife's dead? I know, all right. That's all you need to know. All right, goodbye then. Yeah. All right, I like this hat. I like Boone's hat because... Yeah, Boone's beret. Um, I, there we go. Look how cool that looks. I'll assume. Alright, let's put our Desperado Cowboy hat back on because it gives us an actual damage threshold. Damn it. I don't know why I can't say damage threshold. I don't know. Some words that are really hard for me because I'm retarded. Bobby pins are worth it. So, we have to find out who killed or who sold out Boone's wife. To the Legion. But before that, let's head to In uh, Ranger Andy's bungalow. That's a weird name for a house. Bungalow. Hey, there's Ranger Andy. How you doing, buddy? Hey, we haven't met yet. You must be new in town. I'm Andy. Nice to meet you, Andy. Um... What do you do around here, Andy? Right now, a whole lot of sitting on my keister and counting cracks in the ceiling. I wouldn't wish it on anybody. 
On better days, I help keep the peace. Boone and Vargas watch the road. I watch the town. Tell myself I'm doing some good. Oh, uh, you're with the NCR, right? Was. Was with them. That was back when my arm and leg used to work better. I still like to pretend I'm a ranger, though. I'll check in with the guys up at the station pretty regular on the ham radio. Sometimes they stop by, tell me they're paying their respects, the smug bastards. They haven't been responding to me last couple days. I guess they got tired of hearing me talk, but it still got me a little worried. Hell, listen to me talk, like some damn mother hen. Would you feel better if I checked on your NCR friends for you? Uh, no. No, they're gonna think I'm having trouble letting go. They're good soldiers. I don't give them enough credit. Did you do something to your leg? Yeah, twice. Actually, the first time, it was more like half my body. Knocked me out of the Rangers. This time, it's mostly just reminded me how useless I've gotten. What happened? A few years back, we get a tip that some Legion slavers were holed up in this burnout house a few clicks from where we were stationed. We get there and it's deserted. No sign anyone's been there. I mean, nothing. As we're leaving, I hear something behind me. I turn around and there's this kid, just skin and bone, and he's looking up at us and he's scared half to death. Been hiding in a closet. What did you do? I go to grab him out of there and I notice he's holding something in his hand. Something metal. He shuts himself back in the closet and that's when I see the grenade he's left by my feet. They do it a lot, the Legion, using kids. They know we'll hesitate. Anyway, that was the first time. Second time, I fell down those stairs in front of the motel. Just in case I got to thinking I'd put it all behind me. Damn, Legion. Uh. Speech. Uh. Alright, well, hold on. I'm gonna see if I can hey, get my, uh, uh... Wait a sec. I know what I said, but... If you find yourself by Ranger Station Charlie, let me know what you find. I'd be interested. Alright. Let's see if I can rage uh rage. Ugh. I increase my speech. If I do believe Mintats would do the trick, but I need a, a thirty out of twenty five, I believe. And our speech twenty five. Um I don't know if we can get to thirty. Let's see, aid. Hmm. Barter won't help. That could do it. But what is um, speech? Speech is uh, what? Charisma? So I need charisma. Thanks for charisma. And that would be mintats and alcohol pretty much. But I don't have any alcohol. Oh well, we'll come back to it, but uh I want this. Cause that is not a magazine. One is gun case. Hey, I'm hidden, right? Alright, I'm hidden. Yeah, something very nice in his damn it. Yeah, something very nice in his gun cage. Uh gun case that I want. Oh my god, I my analog gets stuck sometimes. Trail carbine. Right, he didn't notice a damn thing. What do you got on you? Alright. Ooh. Nice. I'll take all that. Alrighty hey, then. Welcome. Welcome. 
Thank you. Uh, well, we'll come back here when uh, we get our speech up. Um, now we want to go to the front desk. Because that's where Victor said we can get a room. Uh, hello? There's a safe, though. Oh, damn it. Ah, damn, my analog's getting stuck. There we go. Bill of Sale. Hmm. We, the representatives of the council, have this day bar bargained and purchased from Ginny May Crawford of Township, Novak. Exclusive rights and ownerships and sale to save Carla Boone for the sum of 1,000 bottle caps and those of her unborn child from the sum of 500 bottle caps. The receipt, therefore, who is hereby acknowledged, we warrant the slave and her young to be sound, healthy, and, and the slaves for life. Ginny May Crawford. So Ginny Mae Crawford sold them out for 1,500 bottle caps. How fucking sad are you if you, you know, did that for 1,500 bottle caps? What the hell is wrong with you? A woman and her baby you sold to the Legion for money. So... Ginny May Crawford. She's the one. That's gonna be in, in handy. Ginny May Crawford's house. We're gonna get this bitch. Hey there. Hey. Is everything all right? Awful late to be dropping in unexpected. Hmm. Uh. Come with me, there's something you should see in front of the dinosaur. Okay, if that's what you think. Alrighty then. It is time to put on Boone's Bray. And we are going to take her in front of the dinosaur. Come on. Yeah, we do look pretty cool with the uh, beret on, though. Come on. Walk your ass faster. You're gonna take a bullet to the head, I hope you know. What? The, who the hell are you? Hello there. It's good to see a friendly face. I almost took you for a raider, I did. Name's Malcolm. Malcolm Holmes. Don't suppose you'd care to trade. I'm missing a few essentials and... Ah, oh, screw this. Lying just ain't in my nature. I'll tell it to you straight. I've been following you for a good bit now. Uh, why are you following me? It started off innocently enough. I was traveling, as I often do, and happened to observe you picking up one of those blue star caps. You didn't show any reaction to it, so I figured you didn't know what you'd gotten your hands on. What's so special about these caps? There's an old wasteland legend that says somewhere out there is a fabulous treasure from before the war. Those caps with the blue star on them, the tale goes, are the key to that treasure. They're called Sunset Sarsaparilla Stars. Ah. So where can I find more of these caps? All over the place. The easiest place to find them is unopened bottles of Sunset Sarsaparilla. You'd think they'd all have been picked clean by now, but somehow, new bottles keep appearing in the machines. Some say it's old Festus that does it, hoping someone will finally collect enough caps to earn the treasure. Other than bottles, You'll just have to scavenge. You can find caps in the unlikeliest of places, and blue star caps are no exception. You, mean, uh, you mentioned someone named Fetus or whatever. Who's that? It's said that the treasure is guarded by a man named Festus, and he's the one who asked for the blue star caps. It's also said he's been around since the war, standing a lonely vigil, waiting for someone to come and take the treasure off his hands. 
That'll make them pretty damn old. But I've met a few people in my travels who claim they actually met them. And they weren't the lying type either. So you collect these caps too? Nah, I gave it up years ago. Too dangerous. And even if I did still collect them, I'd tell you the same. There's people out there so mad with the idea of treasure that they'll attack strangers just on the suspicion that they have some of those caps. Well, thanks for the info. I'll be going now. No problem. If you do end up trying to collect more stars, watch out for a man named Alan Marks. He's killed several people for their stars already. All right. Let's see if I can pickpocket you. Ah, uh, he has six on him. Thank you for those. So, back to the thing at hand. We gotta uh, put her right in front of the dinosaur. And if you wait for it... Headshot. We don't need any of that. That was a good shot, Boone. All right, let's go report back, report back to Boone and tell him that we found out it was her. God, I feel like I haven't really been commentating that much. I do have a slight headache today. And that's never good. Having headaches and shit. Alright, Boone. That's it then. How did you know? I found the bill of sale. I guess I shouldn't be surprised. It'd be like them to keep paperwork. Here. This is all I can give. I think our dealings are done here. What will we do after this? I don't know. I won't be staying, I know that. Don't see much point in anything right now. Except hunting legionaries. Maybe I'll wander. Like you. Come with me. Let's go after the legion. You don't want to do that. I thought snipers worked in teams. <laughs> yeah. Working on your own, you're a lot less effective. I've been there and paid for it. But this isn't going to end well. Fine. Let's get out of here. Boone has given you the spot perk. Nice. Now we have Boone on our team. So let's talk. I want to, uh... Open Fine by me. Alright, he gave us our first recon beret. Now. This has no damage threshold, but look. Plus one perception, plus five critical chance. You bet your ass we are going to put that on. But come on, look. Looks so cool, and we have matching hats. Come on now, matching hats. Alrighty then. Now we have Boone with us. And he is one hell of a shot. Might as well close that door. Uh, to tell you the truth, um. We don't get pissed. Uh, he doesn't get pissed off. Um. Uh, I should probably call it a part here. It's almost been about 30 minutes, so I know really didn't do much in this part, but I tell you, it will start picking up once we get deeper and deeper in this game. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, hit that like and subscribe for more. Uh, follow me on all the social media down below. Go drop a follow over at uh, twitch.com forward slash bobbysoham when I will be live streaming so you can catch me all, all the time when I go live. So, uh... Yeah, thank you guys for watching. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in. I'll catch you guys in the next part of Fall in New Vegas. Uh, I've been Chaos Rush, and you guys have been awesome. So I'll catch you guys then.